Regenix ACL. We're going to talk about the knee, and the knee uh, is an important uh, and the largest joint in the body. Uh, it has uh, four main stabilizing ligaments, um, the ACL, uh, the PCL, which are seen deep in the knee, uh, the MCL, and the LCL on each side. Uh, this allows the knee to uh, flex and extend and have some internal and external rotation. It is the largest joint in the body, as I mentioned, and um, it is prone to significant injury, uh, especially in those who are uh, quite active. Uh, but we see this injury in folks of all ages and uh, activity levels. It typically occurs with a hyperextension uh, type injury where uh, someone is either uh, alone or being uh, hit by another player in a sport specific impact. Uh, and this uh, will lend itself to laxity in the knee. Um, this laxity in the ACL will cause instability. Uh, instability then lends to a dysfunction. And this dysfunction um, oftentimes is, is uh, frustrating to patients uh, in that they cannot do the level of activity that they'd like to do um, prior to the injury. We know that uh, the ACL is repaired about 100,000 times a year in the United States. Uh, and that, again, ranges from uh, young folks as young as uh, uh, 12, 14 years old, all the way up to um, through middle age, uh, and that this can be a significant deterrent to folks enjoying their lifestyle. Uh, in, in Regenix, what, we're, uh, what we've been doing with the ACL is we've, we've developed a protocol that allows us to uh, uh, place stem cells within the ACL. Um, whether it's a grade one, grade two, or a grade three tear, as long as that tear is not retracted and as long as this, the, um, the sheath is intact, we're able to place cells within that uh, ACL material and we've seen, seen excellent results in regeneration and, and, and return of stability in the, in the knee. Uh, this is extremely important, obviously, if you are uh, involved in sports that re uh, require uh, cutting, uh, jumping, turning, uh, and changing speeds or direction. Um, uh, on a dime. The surgeries uh, are quite invasive uh, when, when talking about an ACL uh, repair. Uh, we know that um, the natural uh, physics uh, of an ACL repair uh, don't lend themselves to um, great biomechanics uh, for long periods of time. Um, we've been treating these ACLs since 2012 and uh, we use uh, uh, a patient's own bone marrow uh, and we were able to take that from their posterior ilium. We process it in our lab, uh, and we were able to then re-inject that into the ACL directly. We use visualization uh, to uh, place the cells exactly where we want them. Uh, this includes fluoroscopy and musculoskeletal ultrasound. Our goals essentially are to get folks back to uh, playing the sport they want to play and being able to get that, those ligaments, especially the ACL, as functional as possible.